Dear students, now we are going to discuss antenna subsystem in satellite communication. Antennas play a vital role in satellite communication system because without antennas we cannot transmit and receive the signals wirelessly. So it is very important subsystem in satellite communication. The antennas which are used in satellites are called as satellite antennas. The satellite antennas provide the dual functions one is receiving the uplink signals from earth station the next one is transmitting the downlink signals to the earth station okay so it can support both uplink and downlink the length of the satellite antennas is inversely proportional to the operating frequency so here satellite communication is working in the range of gigahertz so antennas operate in the range of gigahertz hence the length of the satellite antennas is very smaller when compared with the frequency range because L is inversely proportional to the operating frequency. Do you all understand this concept? So, so next types of satellite antennas. First one is wired antennas. Wired antennas means monopole dipole antennas. Here we are going to use dipole antennas which are mainly used for omnidirectional characteristics which will cover the maximum areas okay so here it is widely used in very high frequency ranges to provide the communication for telemetry tracking and command subsystem okay so the next one is array antennas antenna arrays okay so this concept is very important it is mainly used to form the multiple beams from a single aperture so multiple array antennas are used to increase the signal strength okay next one is reflector type antennas so here it is highly directional antenna which is required for telecommunication and broadcasting applications for example parabolic reflector which is widely used in satellite communication system to produce the high beam signal in a particular direction so here parabolic reflector is widely used in satellite system okay so the next one is aperture antennas or horn antennas so these antennas are used to cover more area on air so it is operated in the range of microwave frequencies it can be used as a feed in a subsystem so the same feed can be used for both transmitting as well as receiving the signals with the same polarization here the polarization is also important because uplink we can uh, receive the signal using horizontal polarized signal at the same time we can transmit the vertically polarized signal. So here we can use the same polarization in the horn feed antenna. The transmit and receive signals are separated in a device called diplexer. Okay so here it is a diplexer. Okay. So here polarization discriminator is also used to separate the transmitted signal and received signal in the antenna system. Okay. So next the polarization separation can also be done in a device called orthocoupler or orthogonal mode transducer simply OMT. Next analysis of antenna subsystem. So here the gain of the parabolic reflector is eta i pi d by lambda the whole square. Here eta i is the aperture efficiency, d is the reflector diameter, lambda is the wavelength of the signal. So here the gain is directly proportional to what? d by lambda the whole square. Okay, so this ratio is very important in antenna design for the satellite system. Okay, so next 3 dB beam width. So as you all know that beam width is very important concept in antenna system so here we are considering the 3 db beam width okay so this value is given as theta 3 db is approximately equal to 70 lambda by d so in this one the beam width is inversely proportional to the ratio d by lambda or we can say directly proportional to lambda by d okay so this concept is important so from this two analysis gain is directly proportional to d by lambda the whole square but the beam width is inversely proportional to the 
d by lambda ratio so here gain as well as beam with these two parameters are depending on the ratio d by lambda d means diameter of the reflector lambda is the wavelength so we can increase the gain by increasing the diameter or by decreasing the lambda so do you understand this concept here we can increase the gain by increasing this diameter or decreasing this wavelength the same way we can say the beam width that is nothing but the bandwidth here say bandwidth can be reduced by increasing the diameter or decreasing the lambda do you all understand this one so it is very important design consideration in antenna subsystem in 14 by 12 gigahertz band smaller reflectors can be used okay so here we can consider the intel set antennas for 6 by 4 gigahertz the largest reflectors are used to cover the hemisphere as well as zone coverage okay so horn antennas are also used to provide the required beam shape okay